Hello, I am Mr. McCreary, your student's uh, robotics and automation teacher. Uh, this is my back to school night. Uh, let's go to my presentation. Share the sound. Okay, there's any sound on it. All right, so uh, here we are. About me, I have a degree in mechanical engineering from the University of California at Irvine. Um, I worked as a engineer in industry for several years before becoming a teacher. Uh, I worked at Apex Display Systems. They made trade show displays. My favorite was always the trade show of trade shows, where we would make a giant trade show display to display smaller trade show displays on which we would have graphic images of displays we have made in the past. Uh, so we could display our displays that are being displayed on our displays. It was very fun, but uh, you know, the job as a whole, it, it, it got old. And I went on to become a math teacher at Analog Valley High School, and then at Rio Norte Junior High, and now I am here. I've taught for almost 20 years, uh, over 10 here at Arroyo Seco. Um, I enjoy teaching engineering electives, taught them for uh, several years now. Uh, a lot of fun, highly recommend. Uh, what is this course? Well, this particular one is gonna be automation and robotics. I also teach design and modeling and exploring computer science. Uh, the majority of these are project lead the way courses, computer science I made myself, but. Automation, robotics, and design and modeling are both project lead the way courses. They have such courses at Saugus High. I highly recommend them. These ones are the uh, intro classes. They, we have simpler, more entertaining projects. Like in design and modeling, you might make a phone case. In automation robotics, you learn how to use a uh, snail cam. In the high school version, you learn how to design and build a, um, a different type of cam, not a snail cam, uh, and get it to make a mechanism go through a series of motions that you have designed. Um, fun, more uh, more advanced, always here. Uh, more advanced, more fun. Definitely check it out. Excellent program at, at the high school. This, these are all the intro classes, basically that. Um, design and modeling. If you get this next semester, I, I teach at spring semester, not uh, not currently. Uh, we go through like three D modeling, three uh, D printing, some two D modeling, laser cutting. Uh, make a little box, it's fun. We make a phone case, three D printed. Uh, computer science. Teach it this quarter or this semester. If you don't have an option of taking it next semester, if you have a seventh grade, you might get it next year. We go through basics of programming, um, block programming, make a game, make a GeoCities style uh, web page from scratch, not the website scratch, but you know, from uh, from actual words, not not a uh, uh, web builder. This one though, automation robotics, the one that you're actually in. Uh, what we go through is uh, we go through all of the components of um, that it would take to make robots. We start out with uh, what is this? This is this is a collar. This is an 8-32 uh, bolt, which I don't have, to have on me. Here's a cap nut. 8-32. What does 8-32 mean? How many threads per inch is the, the bolt? What's the difference between a bolt, a screw, and a uh, other thing? Is it a bevel gear? Or is it a spur gear? Is it a sprocket? Uh, what is it? What is a snail cam? We go through what are all the parts called. Then they go through and make about 12 different mechanisms using all of the parts. How do you use a sprocket with a chain? How do you put some bevel gears together? How do you uh, use a cam? What does a rack and pinion do? Uh, we go through a bunch of different mechanisms and then they go through and they make a project. 
out of those mechanisms. They're going to make a little pull toy. The one in the example here is a little, um, little one with Pokemon with a with a Charizard and a, uh, a Pikachu. It looks like, um, and uh, you know they pull the thing and stuff moves. It's all fun, and, all fun and games. Uh, then we go through all the components uh, that are electrically uh, motivated there. The, there's what is a potentiometer, uh, what does it do, how does how do light sensors work, uh, electric motors, uh, limit switches, buttons, stuff like that. Um, and then they combine that with their mechanisms and then they make a car that goes fast or one that goes through a maze or an elevator or the claw, like in the claw game. Um, then they go through and make some stuff for that. Uh, and it's all good. They're not going to make any 50s era robots. Uh, no one will be um, wondering what happened to Will Robinson, but it will be um, uh, it will be entertaining. I, I, I do like it. Oh, my child be graded. I'm going to um, grade it so that one point is 1% 1 on the grade. So if uh, if in Infinite Campus it says this assignment was 10 points and your student didn't do it, that's like 10% of the grade. Generally, there's uh, per, per quarter, that is. Um, generally, there's um, 10 weeks per quarter. And uh, if uh, we get 10 points per week's worth of work, um, and that's usually how that works. Uh, if your student is off on quarantine, I they cannot necessarily build robots because they're not there for a week or two. I have some alternate assignments on Google Classroom uh, that involve some construction. They're engineering based. One is a linkage that has a little claw. It's from the like 1800s. It's a classic or a pentagram, not pentagram. Um, I said the wrong word. I can't remember the uh, pentagraph. Uh, a pentagraph, which is an enlarging um, mechanism. And they can do those in replacement of the stuff that they've missed. Uh, and then we'll just move on when they get back. Um, yeah. This is a point where we would have questions. And though you might want to scream at the your computer screen all the questions that you have for me, uh, I uh, can't hear you because this is a recording. So, okay. oh, there's, there's video. I totally exist. I'm a person. Um, so yeah, I can hear you. This is recording. If you have if you have questions, you can email me. I'm, I totally will respond. Um, hopefully, I answered all the questions that I expect you'll have. But uh, if not, you can get in contact. I'll respond. Um, I hope you enjoy the rest of your back to school night. And hopefully see you sometime when things are normal.